Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, so I apologize. Um, I just want to put together a short video on what's going on. Obviously, you can see the, the difference in what's going on with the channel. The, uh, the Tacoma's gone. Um, somewhat bittersweet. Love the truck, but um, I don't know. I like the space that this thing gives me, so... Um, yeah, that's really what it boils down to, and uh, it's going to allow me to put a nice little camper on the bed of the truck. Um, I have a pretty good idea of how that's going to go down and what's going on it, but, um, but I'll share that in future future content. Um, I'll keep that to myself for now. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't know. So, anyways, just wanted to do a little tiny walk around of the truck. As you can tell, you're like, hey, you know, those look like the same wheels that were on the Tacoma. And if, uh, if you're saying that, you are absolutely correct. Um, I bought a nice set of 17-inch sport wheels from a sport Tacoma, and I just put those on there. They were really nice, so um, and it allowed me to take these. And uh, anyways, yeah, so I'm happy with this. It's got the big moonroof in it. Um, it is an off-road SR5. Um, but I think with the Tundra of this year, really all it is is different. What they consider off-road shocks and a particular style of wheel. Um, but other than that, there's no rear locking differential or any of those types of things. And I don't, I don't have leather or any of that. I could add that. And um, I may add leather and heated seats down the road. Um, I think remote starts next. Um... I haven't done a whole lot to it. It was a really nice truck. Um, had the front two windows tinted. The window visors put on it. I did the window visors. The weather tech. I might do one of those bug deflectors on the front hood to keep some rock chips at bay. I know I already have some rock chips because it's an older truck, but um, could always use some help on that end. Um, I don't really care for the chrome steps, but whatever. I'll keep them for now until... I find something I like better. There's not a whole lot of aftermarket support for these trucks. So it just kind of is what it is. Um, and I went around and around and around and around and around on suspension. And I just, there really isn't go big or go home on that. Like there was, it really wasn't over the top expensive. Um, so I just kind of went somewhat low end. So um, I'm going to end up with the Rancho 9000, so it's a full coil over set up in the front still. Um, and that gives me two and a quarter inches in the front, and I got the matching rear shocks with an add leaf so I can give myself some lift in the back so it's not just a lift in the front. Um, anyways, I love the gray. Hard to find that blue in these in these years. Uh, there's a couple blues that are really nice in this truck, and they're really hard to find. Um, but I like the gray. Yeah, we got some blacked out headlight housings and corner lamps that I just need to put on. I'm waiting for some bulbs to go in those. So all the light bulbs um, will be fresh and LED. I'm keeping the actual high beam and low beam of the headlights as a halogen instead of an LED. I might trade that out later. I don't know. We'll see how the light put out is on it. Seems like those, those LED bulbs, the light output is just kind of funny on a on a um, headlight housing that was meant for a halogen bulb. So, anyways, here she is. Um, love the rear window that goes down. It's really nice. Dog loves it. Obviously, you can see that I moved my spare tire carrier over from the Tacoma because that definitely wasn't going to be sold at that. You know, obviously, nobody's ever going to give you the money you pay for stuff. So, that, was, that would have been never worth selling with the truck unless somebody wanted to pay for it so anyhow yeah really suspension to come that i already have i just need to put in and shoot yeah and then i'll let you know what's going on on the back end of this truck it's gonna be nice i promise you guys are gonna enjoy it some of my future content will probably drive this channel just because of what's going on in the back of this truck so you guys will see it'll be fun um anyways yeah i just wanted to make a short video it's a beautiful day out i mean it's not like absolutely gorgeous or anything but you know 
feels warmer than they said it was going to be. I didn't even look and see what the temperature was. They said it was going to be a high of 50, so. I don't know. I got my sweatshirt on and I feel good. Got a beanie on, that's for sure. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I know there's not a ton of you, but I appreciate everybody that watches these. Um, yeah. Obviously, if you've gotten this far or you have interest in this truck, um, please stick around. This one's going to stick around for a while, so you're going to see more content on this pickup for sure. Um, I promise I'll get out and do some more. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, like and comment and ask me questions and all that kind of stuff. Anyways, guys, appreciate it.